the Lake family enjoyed a harmonious life in their seaside home. Among the family were the tirelessly busy mother, Mary, the energetic father, James, the charming uncle, Desmond, the somewhat awkward son, Tim, and the free-spirited daughter, Catherine, a.k.a. Kit Kat. Every year, they hosted a delightful New Year's Eve party, inviting family and friends. During this year's celebration, Tim found himself navigating the crowd awkwardly, feeling somewhat dragged along by his friend, Jay. As the clock struck midnight and the new year approached, Tim shared a dance with Polly, a girl who had captured his attention. Nervous and unsure of himself, he opted to shake her hand instead of leaning in for a kiss, which disappointed Polly. The next morning, Tim woke up with both embarrassment and a pounding hangover. Unexpectedly, James called him into his study, promising to share a closely guarded family secret. In hushed tones, James disclosed that the men in their lineage, including Tim, possessed a unique gift they could travel back in time, but only within their own lifetime. The caveat was that they couldn't revisit events they hadn't experienced or places they'd never been to. To unlock this ability, they had to retreat to a dark space, like a spacious cupboard, concentrate on the desired time and location, and find themselves transported there. Naturally skeptical, Tim dismissed his father and was convinced he was being teased. To prove it, Tim entered a closet and focused on the events of the previous night's party. Astonishingly, he emerged a few seconds later, wearing the same clothes as before, with the echoes of music and conversation blaring downstairs. Tim finds himself dragged by Jay, but this time, he skillfully avoids the table he had accidentally knocked over earlier. Then, as the countdown begins, he kisses Polly. Soon after, Tim goes back into the closet and returns to the present. Convinced of the reality of time travel, Tim attentively listens to his father's experiences, understanding how James had managed to find ample time for the family. James, however, advised Tim against exploiting this power for personal gain and encouraged him to seek love instead. In the summer, Kit Kat invites Charlotte, her boyfriend's cousin, to stay at the beach house for two months. Tim saw an opportunity to win Charlotte's affection and eagerly tried to impress her. However, a sunscreen mishap left him humiliated. He tried to put sunscreen on Charlotte's back but ended up spilling the entire bottle on her. In desperation to win Charlotte's heart, he used his time-traveling ability to redo his mistakes, making repeated attempts to capture Charlotte's heart. Despite his efforts, he found that the same fate seemed to happen again and again. The day before Charlotte was leaving, Tim hoped to confess his feelings, only to discover that Kit Kat had already warned Charlotte about his intentions. Faced with the thought of what might have been, Tim decided to travel back in time once more, confessing to Charlotte in the middle of summer. However, even with this alteration, Charlotte advised him to ask her again on her last night at the house, ultimately confirming that their romantic connection was never meant to be. Accepting the reality of their mismatched destinies, Tim bid farewell to his family home and embarked on a new chapter in London as a lawyer, seeking a fresh start. There, he resided with James's short-tempered playwright friend, Harry. As a lawyer, Tim found limited luck in romance due to the fact that he mainly interacted with other men in his professional circle. However, a turning point came when Jay took him to an extraordinary restaurant where patrons dined in total darkness. In the shadowy ambience, Tim found himself seated next to Mary and her friend Joanna. The darkness provided a unique opportunity to connect on a deeper level, and Tim and Mary discovered genuine chemistry, thoroughly enjoying each other's company. After their dinner, Tim and Jay finally come face to face with the girls. Tim is awestruck by Mary's appearance, and the sparks between them are evident as they lock eyes. Before parting ways, Mary shares her phone number with Tim, leaving him with a skip in his step as he walks back home. However, his enthusiasm is met with an angered growl from Harry, as the lead actor in his play, Tom, forgot his lines, ruining his opening night. Determined to help him out, Tim decides to use his time-traveling ability to help Harry with the play. He goes back in time to the theater just before opening night and encourages Tom to practice his lines. With Tom's lines memorized, another actor forgets their lines instead. Tim goes back again to assist the second actor. This time the play turns out to be a resounding success, but Tim soon realizes that his time travels have inadvertently erased his enchanting evening with Mary. Feeling disheartened, he joins Harry for breakfast the next day. Harry shares a newspaper featuring an ad for a Kate Moss exhibition in the city, knowing Mary is a fan. Tim spends the week at the exhibit, hoping to run into her again. After patiently waiting, Mary finally appears, and Tim approaches her with nervous excitement. However, their interaction doesn't go as planned, and Tim learns that Mary now has a boyfriend named Rupert. 
Determined to change Mary's path, Tim finds out about the party where Mary met Rupert and decides to intervene. He arrives at Joanna's apartment and persuades Mary to leave the party with him before Rupert arrives. Though hesitant at first, Mary feels drawn to him and agrees. As they leave the party, they inadvertently pass by Rupert, who remains oblivious to his missed connection. Tim and Mary enjoy a lovely dinner together, deepening their connection. Tim walks Mary home, and she invites him up to her apartment. Things start heating up, but Tim trips over Mary's shoes and has a hard time unclipping her bra. Their first sexual encounter turns awkward due to Tim's nervousness, leading him to use his time-traveling ability to correct the situation. He keeps trying to fix things until finally their passion ignites perfectly, and their relationship continues to blossom over the following months. As their love grows, Tim and Mary decide to move in together. One day at the theater with his co-worker Rory, Tim encounters Charlotte, but their conversation turns awkward. He tries different approaches, but nothing seems to work. Eventually, he decides to ignore her completely. Then, Charlotte takes the initiative, inviting Tim to dinner and expressing her regrets about turning him down in the past. Despite the great offer, Tim realizes his true feelings for Mary and declines Charlotte's offer to go inside her apartment. The experience helps him understand the depth of his love for Mary. Overjoyed, he rushes back home to propose to her, but it doesn't go as romantically as he hoped. So he tries again, the second time she accepts his proposal. Later, Tim introduces Mary to his parents, and the family enjoys quality time together. The Lake family is overjoyed upon learning about Tim and Mary's wedding and Mary's pregnancy. Sometime later, Tim and Mary have their wedding. Amidst the wedding ceremony, filled with love and laughter, a sudden storm interrupts the festivities forcing everyone to seek shelter. Tim finds himself reliving the moment, trying to ensure everything goes perfectly. He time travels to switch his best man multiple times until finally settling on his father, James. Months later, Tim and Mary welcome their beautiful daughter, Posey, into the world. Embracing the joys and challenges of parenthood, they move into a new home and celebrate Posey's first birthday, surrounded by friends and family. However, one guest is conspicuously absent. Kit Kat. The doorbell rings, but instead of Kit Kat, it's her troublesome boyfriend, Jimmy. Tim's heart sinks hearing that Kit Kat had an argument with Jimmy earlier, and she drank and drove, leading to a car accident on her way to the party. Determined to save his sister, Tim goes back in time to pick her up from her home and prevent the accident. But this intervention doesn't address the root cause, Kit Kat's drinking problem stemming from her unhappy relationship with Jimmy. Tim desperately attempts to connect with Kit Kat, hoping to help her find a path to happiness. When their conversation fails, he takes her back in time to the New Year's Eve party where she first met Jimmy. Instead of flirting with him as she did before, she releases her pent-up anger and punches him. Returning to the present, Kit Kat realizes her true feelings for Jay, Tim's friend. This time, she chooses to date Jay, leading to a more fulfilling and healthier relationship. However, as Tim goes to his daughter, he discovers that he now has a son instead of Posey. The realization leaves him distraught, and he consults his father, James, for advice. James explains that altering events before Posey's conception may result in a different child being born, which compels Tim to preserve Posey's existence. Determined to keep his beloved daughter, he goes back in time to undo the changes he made to Kit Kat's life, allowing her car accident to happen. With Kit Kat in the hospital, Tim and Mary offer unwavering support. Once Kit Kat is discharged from the hospital, she decides to make positive changes in her life. Remembering the alternate timeline when she was happy with Jay, Tim suggests she start seeing him. Returning home, Tim finds immense joy that Posey exists once again, inspiring him to consider having another child. Although Mary initially protests, they eventually conceive their son two years later. One evening, Tim inadvertently leaves Posey unattended, and she destroys a manuscript from Mary's office. Tim contemplates using time travel to fix the situation, but a call from his mother delivers devastating news. James has been diagnosed with terminal cancer. Despite their ability to time travel, they realize they cannot undo James's cancer without risking the existence of Tim and Kit Kat. In this critical time, James imparts a valuable lesson about their time traveling ability. He advises Tim to live life as normally as possible, appreciating both the everyday tensions and joys. James encourages him to revisit cherished moments, savoring the sweetness of life. Tim takes his father's advice to heart, finding happiness in both mundane and special moments. However, there are still days that Tim cannot bear to relive, such as the day James passes away. Unwilling to say goodbye, Tim travels back in time to visit his father when he was still in good health. Even after James's passing, 
Tim finds solace in the ability to visit his father back in time whenever he misses him. As time passes, Mary expresses her desire to have a third child. Knowing that another child would disable him from visiting his father again, Tim contemplates his decision. Ultimately, he embraces the future and agrees to have another child with Mary. As the day of the birth approaches, Tim knows it will be his last chance to visit his father in the past. He plays table tennis with James for the last time, and James understands the significance of the moment. In a touching gesture, they both travel back in time to when Tim was a young boy. They are both at the beach laughing and having a good time. With tearful goodbyes, Tim returns to the present, welcoming the arrival of their third child. As years pass, Tim lives life fully, cherishing the laughter and tears shared with his family. He finds contentment in the everyday moments embracing each day as if it's the second time he's lived it. With a completed family with Mary and Kit Kat also experiencing the joys of motherhood, Tim relishes the joy and growth in his family. As they navigate life's ups and downs, Tim learns that time travel cannot fix everything life throws at them. Instead, he finds peace in his father's teachings, living each moment to its fullest and appreciating the profound sweetness life has to offer.